Um, okay, so for me, first of all, if you have nothing, if you're building from zero, the first thing you need is pull-up bars, a pull-up bar, and a dip bar. Uh, somewhere to do dips and somewhere to do pull-ups. And, and that's what you need. Now, be careful if you're listening and you're like, okay, I'm going to go buy a pull-up bar and a dip bar. Don't get the little flimsy looking things that cost $129. You don't want that. It's almost worthless. It's better than nothing, mm -hmm. but it's almost worthless. You want to get a legit dip bar and a legit pull-up bar. Dip bars are a little bit easier. You can go, you can go pretty cheesy on dip bars. Mm -hmm. But pull-up bars, you can't. Pull-up bars, you need something legit, strong. You can bolt it to your wall, but you need a nice pull-up bar with a with a inch and a half or a two-inch metal pipe. I still have a pull-up bar that I bought from Home Depot. Uh, I bought it in 1998. Okay. I've had it ever since. And it's bolted on to my squat rack. Mm. But that's all it is, a piece of, you know, two-inch pipe and... That's what you do pull-ups on. So when you say make sure it's legit, why is that? So you don't, so it doesn't break while you're using it, basically. Yeah, and also it's got to have some weight to it, so you can do kipping pull-ups. So you're not the thing's not shaking all over the place. You get, you see these. I mean, this is just going total cheese ball. The things with like the foam handles that just rotate and fall off, and they're just it's just a nightmare. You want to what you need is a pipe. <laughs> That's yeah. what you need is a piece of pipe from Home Depot. Mm. Uh, and, and then you need somewhere to do dips. Now, one thing that you can do that will cover both these is you can get rings, mm. you know, gymnastics rings right, right. and you can have, you can adjust the height of the rings and you can do dips and pull-ups on rings and then you can do muscle ups as well. So rings are almost a, like if there's one thing you could have, if you could have one piece of equipment for working out, it'd probably be smart to go with just wooden rings. Uh, because that they are that flexible and you can do that much different stuff. I mean, you can do dips, you can do muscle ups, you can do pull ups, you can do push ups, mm -hmm. you can do all kinds of stuff. You yeah. can do levers, you can do front levers, back levers. There's all kinds of gymnastics moves you can do. I mean, you could basically work for the rest of your life on rings and be good to go. So rings are a way of handling the whole pull up and dip bar situation. But, and that's why it's pretty much the number two thing for me is, is pull up bar, dip bar, slash rings, because those are all going to kind of get you those basic body movements to build your strength. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get past that, now it's time for a squat rack. <laughs> it's got to have a squat rack. And as soon as you have a squat rack, now my, my squat rack has a pull up bar on it, which I bolted on myself. My squat rack is the same year you know, when I, Bought my first house, immediately had a garage gym. It was 20, I don't know, 27 years ago or something like that. Built a garage gym immediately. Bought a squat rack, still have the same squat rack. Bolted a pull-up bar onto it, still have that. I modified it a little bit and made dip bar, so I had a dip bar on it. This is before you could buy gymnastic rings, or I didn't know how to get a hold of gymnastics rings mm. back in those days. And then the next thing that you need is you need... um an Olympic lifting bar and, and bumper plates. And so you can do your squats, your cleans, your clean and jerks, your deadlifts, and all your basic strength movements. Um, after that, for me, I think kettlebells. Um, you know, so now you have, you can do your swings, you can do your farmer's walks. You can do your snatches. You can, I mean, there's a ton of exercises, Turkish get-ups. I mean, there's a ton of exercises that you can do there that kettlebells now add to the situation. Mm -hmm. And you can do some really psychotic conditioning, metabolic conditioning with the addition of kettlebells as well. At this point, if you only have one set of rings, I have three sets of rings, and I have one that's high for muscle ups. I have one that's medium for dips, and I have one that's low for for push ups. And I just have those all the time, so then you don't have to adjust them because I guess I'm too lazy to want to adjust my rings all the time. Yep. The next piece for me is I like rowers. The Concept Two rowers. I have mm -hmm. one. 
I've had it for a long time. They're a brutal workout. I think that you can just destroy yourself very easily and very quickly. And I think like a like an air dyne or an air assault type bike, I don't have one of those. I'm probably going to get one very soon. But I think those are outstanding as well. I didn't say jump rope earlier. That's another good kind of cardio, kind of Metcon, kind of get after it. Mm-hmm. And then maybe some medicine balls. Um, and after that, I mean, I think, you know, the, the, the question was essential equipment. <laughs> to yeah. me, that's sort of my list. Yeah. And then from there, it just becomes fun. You know, it becomes what kind of other implements can I bring into the situation that are going to eliminate boredom, increase uh, creativity, increase dynamic and functional movement. And I think these, these are pretty good.